Hey guys, what's up? It's Micah Jesse, and I am so excited to be part of Band Aid Brands Traveling Glambulance here during Fashion Week. This is a very exciting time. We're here on Fifth Avenue. I've got my Band Aids on, and it's Fashion's Night Out. Come along for the ride. fellow bloggers, Dana Prije from Daily Fashionista. So we're going on to the Facebook.com slash Band-Aid page, okay? You're already logged on, I'm getting on, okay? okay. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna submit our best or worst fashion malfunction story. I was at the beach and I was wearing a Victoria's Secret gel sort of push-up bikini top and a big wave came and one of the little gel cats blew out of my top. I was going to Six Flags on a school trip. I was in eighth grade and I had really like hot like acid jean shorts and those big like, oh no, ripped shorts were in them. Totally. And I was walking and my guy friend thought it was funny to like rip the short. So all day, I, it just like ripped, but it ripped like all the way to like the, the like zipper. I was walking around in my favorite pair of blue lemon capris and lo and behold there's a big hole in the butt, right in like the butt crack area. Thankfully I was wearing cute pink lacy underwear. <laughs> we have a fashion emergency right here. We walked into the office today and there's a crash. Rest for the night, there's a crash. What are you gonna do? I'm with Sloane Stevens here at the Glamulet. Sloane is a huge tennis superstar and you were in the US Open yeah. and now you're here on Fashion Night Out. Yes. How exciting is this? I'm so excited. Can you tell the viewers out there with what your fashion malfunction story is? My fashion malfunction was I was playing tennis. Um, I think it was at Sony Ericsson. I was wearing a pretty tight shirt and it just completely ripped on the side and I was so embarrassed. Well, good thing we have our Cynthia Rally band-aids. Yes. <laughs> I like it. So cute. You guys, this is hugely exciting. I'm standing here with the world-renowned designer, Cynthia Rowley, and we're just talking about how cool it is that she's got her name on America's favorite adhesive Band-Aid brand. How cool is that? I know, it's amazing. It totally is like a dream come true. You oh know, my. I mean, this has been this, Well, you, you debuted it last time. season. Debuted it last season, very small, very limited run, and now it's, you know, Now it's huge. Everywhere. It's yeah. nationwide, you guys. Now you can buy Cynthia Rally for Band-Aid in Target stores nationwide. Now, what's your favorite Cynthia Rally Band-Aid? Do you have a favorite? I don't think you I do. You don't? Can. Okay. Don't I okay, well, that's fair. Maybe, you know what? I love the runway show one. That's exciting. Because that's like where that's like real, you know. A totally. Runway on your boo-boo, you know. <laughs> a runway on your boo-boo from Cynthia Rally herself. I'm with Malik Soshik. He's a man about town here in New York City, and we are at the Band-Aid Glambulance. This is this man knows glam, okay? Now, this, you know Cynthia Rowley, This is her limited edition design. These are amazing. They yeah, look so cute. I love the designs. So if cute. I ever get cut, I know what to do, baby. <laughs> Shaking it all around. What an exciting night here at Fashion's Night Out. I had so much fun being a part of the Band-Aid brand and Cynthia Rowley Glambulance. There were so many fans of the brand coming here to stop by to share their fashion malfunction stories. I even shared mine. You can check it out on Facebook.com slash Band-Aid. Fashion's Night Out is not over yet. I'm heading downtown to see what all the action is going on in Meatpacking and Soho. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on MicahJesse.com.